I took with me this Gregory Zulu 40L pack. You can, you can buy it online for about $190. I'm sure you can get discounts and get it a little bit more. It is what they call a free float ventilated suspension. The, the backpack itself weighs 2.9 pounds. And the, the frame, it has a curved frame, which I'll show you in the pictures. The, the frame is made out of four millimeter alloy steel and fiberglass. Uh, what they call an anti-barreling stay. I don't know exactly what that means. It's also made out of HDPE po polyethylene um, material. And it's a nice backpack, but just about three pounds empty, it gets pretty, pretty heavy. Now I tested this backpack with my cool dry frame, which you can find here. Um, I could tell that while I was hiking and this backpack does have a curved frame, which I'll, kind of curve and you can kind of see here in the pictures it does provide airflow right in the middle of the back but on the top and the bottom it doesn't and so i equipped the the backpack i have this um it's a go v thermo hydro meter it's a pretty much a bluetooth thermometer and i just put it in here and then i can track my back temperature. And I could notice that after about 45 minutes, and I wanna make sure that I get this right because I wrote it in my notes. Um, after 45 minutes of hiking, my back was getting hot. There was some wind, but my back was getting quite hot. And you can see with the chart that the my back was definitely increasing with temperature as the Govi does explain. Uh, and with the bag just under three pounds, I probably had an additional three pounds of weight. Now, this backpack is a lot heavier than what I usually have. This is probably two times uh, heavier than what I normally wear. I usually wear like a 22 liter. So I was having difficulties and it was kind of dis uh, just for the most part uncomfortable just because I could definitely feel the heat and also it's a heavy backpack. And it's heavy because for the most part, it's the frame. This it's a it's a beautiful backpack, but the frame itself makes the backpack very very heavy with that curved uh, design. So my back temperature was climbing over 65 degrees Fahrenheit, while the outside temperature was climbing as well. So there really wasn't much of a cooling effect as I was hiking. The temperature was increasing, and the back my back temperature was increasing. I took a complete stop uh, just over one hour because I. Even though it was flat, I was actually pretty tired. This large backpack was causing me problems. I just wasn't used to the weight. Now, when I did put the cool dry frame on, um, I put a black version, this is a white one. I could tell that the back temperature was more stable as the Govi thermometer was telling me it was what, what was happening. The outside temperature continued to increase from 50 Fahrenheit to about 56. So as the temperature was increasing, my back temperature was staying the same. It was much more constant. So you could say that the peak temperature between wearing and not wearing the cool dry frame was just one degree, as the chart says. Uh, that is true. However, there are a few points to consider. Number one, I wonder how hot my back would have been with just the Gregory pack if I hadn't paused and continued. Because remember, I paused about 45 minutes in because I was, it was a lot of weight and I was definitely feeling the heat and I just needed to pause and that lowered my back temperature. Number two, the cool dry frame provided more consistency in the back temperature. And second, the outside temperature continued to increase while the cool dry frame was keeping my back temperature much cooler or stable, which definitely made a difference. So what would have been the peak temperature with only the Gregory 40L Zulu? Um, I don't know. All I know is it kept going up. I will test this at a later date. I assume that I'm gonna need probably more than 40, probably at least two hours to just really get a sense of how the back temperature performs with this backpack. Overall, I did notice that the cool dry frame definitely made a difference. The stats do show that there is more stable temperature of my back with it. So I was happy to have this. And if I wanted a lighter backpack with this type of frame, I think overall I'd be really, really good to go. So that's my review to Sweating Less.